Hi guys and welcome to another episode of the Meat Medic Podcast. Today I'm going to be talking about what I eat on a carnivore diet. I get asked this a lot by patients, by people on YouTube, the comments, the community, my Discord server and so on. So I thought it'd be quite a good idea to basically make a video talking about it. It's pretty simple. Basically carnivore diet is all meat diet, pretty much all animal based foods. I primarily prioritize beef. Now, most people talk about ruminant animals being the priority really on carnivore. I think that's absolutely true. And we generally want to be focusing, prioritizing on the fatty cuts of meat. Carnivore diet, a lot of people find great success with it. Weight loss, nutrition, uh, anti-inflammatory diet, improving autoimmune conditions. I mean, you know, pretty much you name it. People will tell you that it's improved on the carnivore diet. And I have absolutely no reason to suspect that they are lying. I've seen amazing success with it myself. And if you're interested in a step-by-step -step guide on how to do a carnivore diet, if you're not doing it already, check out my 30-day guide on how to start a carnivore diet, link in the description down below. So the carnivore diet is an all-meat, zero-carb diet, and it holds a lot of promise, a lot of potential. Now, anecdotes, yes, there's no big studies, but pretty much everybody that does the carnivore diet says they just feel absolutely incredible. So if you're new here to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. Make sure you hit the like button, give it a good mash and share this video to your friends if you found it very useful. Let me know in the comments down below what you're eating on a carnivore diet. Anyway, let's jump right in. So breakfast, pretty much when I eat breakfast, actually often I don't. I did do an episode on fasting on a carnivore diet if you're interested in that. Generally, I eat intuitively. So I eat when I'm hungry, I don't eat if I'm not hungry and most days I actually skip breakfast and I like to keep it very, very simple, basically either eggs or steak. Pretty much that's it. I will occasionally eat bacon. I don't eat that much bacon. I've actually kind of gone off the taste of bacon a little bit, which is kind of weird because like everyone loves bacon. Steak basically varies, but typically something like T-bone, uh, porterhouse, ribeye. We really, really want to prioritize the fatty cuts of meat. And I don't have huge time in the morning, so I just fry up something really quickly. I'm not going to sit there for three hours braising a chuck, for example. Usually cook them in beef, tallow, lard, butter. I use a lot of butter and tallow here. Bacon grease. We do have leftover bacon grease in the freezer and so on. I do use that. Otherwise, the eggs... I basically just cook them how I like them. I do like poaching my eggs. I love a poached egg on top of a steak. Oh my God, so good. Uh, I actually use this, uh, actually, let me go and get it. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. So I actually use this uh, this poaching thing. Uh, it's pretty simple, actually. Bought it off Amazon. I think it's like $15 Australian. I'll put a link in the description down below. Very simple. Basically, you know, a few pieces here. Very simple. Amazing for poaching eggs, absolutely perfect for poaching eggs. Definitely worth getting if you're a fan of poached eggs. Otherwise, look, I just basically fry them up, shallow fry them, scramble them, whatever. Don't really care. I just eat the eggs. My kids like eating scrambled eggs, so I generally just scramble them. They do love poached eggs as well. So that poacher is really come in handy. Otherwise, let's move on to lunch. Now, actually, I often miss lunch again. Uh, I just don't feel that I need it very often. Most of the time I'm doing one meal a day or two meals a day. I actually often do breakfast and just dinner. I just skip the lunch. I find it just works for me work-wise and everything. But, you know, if I am hungry, usually I'll take in something like a steak. I'll either just eat it cold or we actually have an air fryer in the, uh, in the coffee room at my work. So I can always air fry it there. Cold steak is honestly really nice. Like a, just a, like a cooked ribeye, just take it in and eat it cold. So delicious. Otherwise, if I'm out and about, look, I might go to Macca's and get like a burger patty or something. But honestly, I work in shopping complexes. I just go to the to the supermarket like Woolworths and just go go to the deli counter and I just get like the shaved beef. So today I went to the deli counter because I was a bit hungry at lunchtime. I bought some roast beef. I bought some leg ham and I bought some pastrami beef. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Oh, I bought some silver side as well, actually. About 100 grams of each of them. So I think I had something like 400 grams, 500 grams in total. Yes, there's cheaper options than the deli counter. Absolutely. But in a pinch, perfectly good. Definitely way better than going and buying garbage. That's for sure. Otherwise, then dinner is usually where I eat most of my food. 
If I'm doing one meal a day, it's almost always going to be dinner. If I'm eating two meals a day, it's going to include dinner. Dinner is almost invariably steak. There's just no two ways about it. Beef is the best. <laughs> There's really just no doubt about it. We do definitely want to prioritize ruminant animals on the carnivore diet, and we definitely want those fatty cuts of meat. So we're generally not going to things like pork. We're generally not going to things like chicken, because whilst these can be fatty, like pork, it has a very high omega-6 content, and it isn't ideal. Every once in a while, I will eat it. Absolutely, I do think variety is important psychologically and physically, but I'm just not eating it all the time. Beef is what I'm eating 99% of the time. If I'm not eating that, I'm probably eating homemade chicken nuggets. Very, very simple recipe. I'll do a video at some point on recipes. Basically, very, very simple. You basically get pork crackling uh, as good as you can make it. Oh, sorry. You know, those like in, in like the packets, pork, pork crackling packet, as good as you can get it, ideally cooked in its own juices, but it's hard to find that I know. Basically, get a pestle and mortar, mix it all up, make it into a crumb, roll the chicken in that, stick it in the air fryer, 20 minutes, job done. Absolutely amazing. My kids absolutely love that as well. Definitely goes down a treat. Lamb, occasionally I will eat maybe some lamb chops, but as I said, pretty much almost always, it's basically steak. Um, I actually have some leftover ribeye I'm eating here cold um, from the other night that I'm just eating as a snack. Uh, actually, snacks, that's a good point. So snacks, like I very rarely eat snacks, actually. But if I do, look, honestly, it's, yeah, like it's cold ribeye or something. Or I've also got a cup of bone broth here. Uh, bone broth as well is definitely a good snack. Homemade jerky, like anything like this is all is all basically good as well. Carnivore diet is very simple. It's basically like bone broth and beef. It's it's pretty simple. It's not rocket science. If you are looking for a guide, as I said, I do have a guide available on the carnivore diet. Link in the description down below. But basically for most people, you don't really need a guide. It's pretty intuitive eating. Eat when you're hungry. Don't eat when you're not. Eat what your body is telling you to eat. If your body's telling you to eat beef, eat the beef. If you open up the fridge and the chicken looks good, eat the chicken. If your pork looks good, eat the pork. It's pretty simple and straightforward. You're not going to go that far wrong with doing that approach. Anyway, guys, if you like this episode, please hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe for more content like this. Share it around to your friends. And if you are looking for more support, I do have memberships available through my Patreon and YouTube memberships for extra support on my Discord server. Link in the description down below. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you in the next episode.